So after a recent rainstorm, uh, this is what started happening with my uh, Chevy Volt charger here, and it quit working. All right, so I did something that's not really advisable, and especially with the p power plugged in now, but I did, uh, I opened it up, and I checked the fuse. The fuse is uh, on the left here, far left, where'd it go? There it is, this is white fuse, uh, pretty close to between two white wires on the left here, and that fuse appears to be functioning. So that's not the issue. And you can see on this, these little dark specks, those are water droplets. So yes, there was some water that got into this charger. So I'm gonna check the seal. I'm gonna let it dry out and test it out and make sure it's actually gonna work here. Okay, so uh, oh, this thing's handy. I'm just gonna put it on low and keep it a good distance away from the board. Uh, I think what I could do Okay, so it's been a couple of hours and I uh, ran the hair dryer over the back of it for a little bit Just a few minutes and yeah, okay. So that's it. It just had a little water inside of it once it dried out Seems like it's okay. So don't judge me, uh, but this is the solution I ended up coming with. Why did I end up with this solution? Well, uh, I, I, because this has a lid that clamps on and is pretty, pretty uh, watertight. The problem with it is that it either got too hot or too humid, but there may be a sensor inside this device that causes it to fault uh, because it kept faulting when I had the cover on it. As soon as I took that cover off, the faults went away. It hasn't faulted ever since I took this uh, this area off, and it's no longer sealed. But it's but this cover this cover does serve the purpose of keeping water from directly pouring onto this. Because even though I opened it up, dried it out, and resealed it using um, uh, some sealant um, silicone, uh, it still it kept getting wet and faulting. So. I had to do a cover. That's the solution.